Hi everyone, it's your girl Regina, the Side Hustle Queen. And welcome to my channel, Regina's Crazy Life. If this is your first time joining me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and become a part of my YouTube family. So today I am doing a tutorial on how you can make pictures for your picture pendants using Cricut Design Space. So the first thing you're going to need is a picture. So most of my customers, they send me a picture, you know, via text or Facebook. So I just got this customer through Facebook. She inboxed me a picture. So we're going to use her picture today. And I'm going to show you the first way that you can get pictures. So we're going to download her picture onto our computer. We're going to bring up the Cricut Design Space. So the picture has already done saved itself onto your computer once you hit download. So what you want to do is you want to upload, hit upload. You want to hit upload images. You're going to browse your computer. And you're going to come over here to downloads. And it's going to be the last thing that you downloaded, which is was that picture. So you're going to open it up. See it right there? You're going to hit complex because it's going to be a cut and print and it's a picture. So you want to always hit complex. You want to hit continue. You want to hit continue again. You want to select print, then cut. You can name your file if you want to. Most of the time I don't. You want to upload your picture. And it's going to fall right along with the rest of the pictures that you already done upload. So you're going to select that picture, insert it into your Cricut Design Space. And what I do is I make the picture just a little bit smaller because your picture pendants are 1.1 by 1.1 inches. So what you want to do is you want to go over here to shapes and grab your circle. And so you want to get that circle over the picture, the part of the picture that you want. So I always try to make sure I get all the faces in as much as possible. Yeah, I hit the unlock button so it allows me to work a little bit more with the circle. Once you get the circle over the area that you want to be inside the picture, you're going to select the whole file. Just hold your mouse down and select the whole file. You're going to hit slice. Once you slice it, you're going to remove that, and look what happens. You got your circle for your picture pendant. So the next thing you want to do, you want to unlock it. You can unlock it from the top, or you can unlock it from right here in the left-hand corner. You want to make it 1.1 by 1.1, because that is the size that um, your appendix are. Okay, what I usually do, just in case my corner is icing up, I duplicate it. Now, if you want to do designer pictures, what you want to do is you want to drop down the Cricut Design Space. You're going to open it up. This time we're going to go into Google. Oh, I'm already in Google. And we're going to select, let's select Gucci. It says Gucci Fashion Wallpaper. Okay, so I selected Gucci. I want to go to Images. Okay, you want to scroll down and find your nice little Gucci print. I like this little print right here. So what, what I usually do is I hit that snipping button. The snipping tool. Move it right on out the way. Grab you that Gucci symbol. I hit the copy button. I head over here to Canva. I hit the, lo the logo design. I hit elements. I select the, the square, open it out really big, all over the square. Then you want to hit control and V, so that picture you just saved, which that's not a good picture because it picked up the snipping tool image in the background. I don't like that one. So we're going to redo this one right quick. Okay. Now that's a better picture. We're going to copy it. Head back over here to Canva. Control and V. 
I usually just move it around until it picks it up just like that. Bam. Because these are like, well, you could just, if you use a circle, it'll drop into the circle and stuff like that. But I always use the square um, for design space. So then you want to download it into the PNG file. And keep in mind that Canva, you can use Canva for free. I do pay for the Pro Edition because I like to sometimes take the background out of some of my pictures. But just for these purposes right here, if you're just using it for this, this is actually free. Just sign up for Canva and just use it for free. So I'm going to bring my Cricut Design Space back up. I'm going to hit Upload. The same way I uploaded the picture from off Facebook, browse my computer, head over here to Downloads. And it's going to be the last thing you download. Select it, open it up, hit complex, hit continue, hit continue again. If you want to name it, change the name to Gucci picture, whatever you want to name it. So I usually just leave mine like that. Upload the file, select the Gucci print, insert it into Cricut Design Space because they already have like that little black. Um, background, sometimes I have a Gucci print where it's just all over. It's super easy to cut the circle. So basically, I get my circle over here, and I basically just want the Gucci, the Gucci design in the back in the black background, so I really have to do a lot of work, a lot of effort to this one. Sit slice. Once it slice it up, take off the parts you don't want. want. Grab your Gucci symbol, unlock it, change it to your 1.0, Width and height. I always duplicate it three times. Have me three. But sometimes with printers, different printers do different things. Sometimes I know this is a little line going through it. Then you just head over here to make it. And one thing I learned about when you're in the make it part of your um design, design space, if you date a little bit too close, you can move them around. If you want to move them around, what I normally do, and if because I, I like to print three um three times the same picture, you can get up to sixteen pictures on the full sheet. If you're just printing only two of the same pictures, you can get I think it's like twenty four or something like that. So you, what you want to do is you want to hit print and cut. Um, this is going to pretty much conclude this video because all you have to do is pop your paper in the printer and print it out. Um, make sure um. Right here in the right hand corner or down on the left hand corner, you should see the next video popping up on the next step on how you can insert your, you can cut and insert your um, pictures into your appendix. So make sure you want to click on that video so that you can watch part two where I show you the exact type of paper you need to be printing on, the type of glue you need to use, as well as pendants and how to make bracelets, necklace, and charms using these pictures. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're on Facebook, make sure you join my Facebook group, Side Hustle Queen Creation. See you guys on the next tutorial. Thank you guys for watching.